All right, here's a cool little aerial flourish. It's gonna be kind of tough to capture this in the viewfinder of the camera, but I'll give it a try. Here's what it looks like. All right, so um, it combines uh, a few different moves that I've already taught uh, into one sequence, all right? So to do this, you need to know how to do a swing cut. Uh, you need to know a one-handed fan, and you need to know a charlier cut. So I've made tutorials on all of these moves. I'll put links to them up on the screen and in the description box down below. Once you know those three things, there's just one more thing that you need to learn, and that's the actual flipping, the, the aerial part of the trick. So let's break it down a bit further. You start off by cutting about maybe two-thirds of the deck, you swing cutting two-thirds of the deck into your left hand. With the remaining cards in your right hand, you fan them out, one-handed fan style. As you do that, you're going to do the Charlier cut. And uh, instead of actually closing the Charlier cut, you're actually going to stick the fan in between the two packets and catch this packet on top like that. And from here, this is the hardest part of the move. It's the, the flipping of the packet. And um, it is the hardest part, but it's not as hard as you would think. Okay, so you just have to do it with confidence and these cards will stick together and they'll flip the way that you want them to. So I guess the key to doing this is really um, don't hesitate because if you hesitate, the cards are going to go all over the place. Just do it with confidence. You want to do uh, a nice, strong, brisk flip. Okay, so you're just going to flip your wrist upwards like that. It's going to cause that packet to rotate 360 degrees and then land. So it's, it's tough to demonstrate slowly, but kind of like that. So it's something that you're going to have to experiment with, but from here, it's just an upward flick of the fan. It's like this, but it's, it's minor. Okay, so let me demonstrate that one more time. Okay, it lands on the left-hand pack. So after you do the flip, what you need to do is uh, you're going to have to move your left hand to the right to catch it because it's going gonna, it's gonna to land over there. It lands here, and then with your remaining cards in the fan, I close it just like this. Okay, so I kind of feed the fan on top of the deck, and I let the cards square up. All right, I'll do it once more from a behind-the-deck angle, so you can kind of get a better idea, and uh, hopefully it'll help out. One more time, you're going to cut off two-thirds of the cards into your left hand, as you do a one-handed fan with your right-hand cards, you're going to charlier cut the left-hand cards. Let the top packet fall on top of the fan, and then you do the flick. Okay, catch those cards in the left hand, and then you're going to square up the fan on top of the deck. In terms of the flow and the rhythm of this thing, I would just watch the performance a few times to get an idea of the timing. Okay. And uh, that's all there really is to this, so I hope you like that little flourish, and I'll see you next time.